Hello friends and welcome back to my first video of the new year. Um, we're starting off with another paper wig tutorial. About a few weeks ago, somebody asked me if I knew how to make drills and at the time I did not. But I did some research um, and I kind of think I know how to do it. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, hopefully they still need this tutorial. But if not, hopefully you guys can use it as well. So let's get into that. To start off, like in my previous videos, I am not making the base and I am not um, like going into that. I'm, I'm just making the drill piece. I also don't have my usual base that I use for tutorials, so we're just going to pretend that this hat is the base, because I only really need it to just to show you how it would go on. Um, but if you need more information, I will link all the other videos in my description, along with two other paper wig makers that you can check for more information. So yeah, also, um, again, people always ask me how many pieces of paper I use, and again, I'm not going to be able to give you a correct answer. For mine, I am using probably one, one and a half, depending on how long it is, but that size is going to change depending on how big, how long, what character you're doing it for. So after I make mine, I will explain at the end what you're going to need to do. But yeah, let's, let's go. So I'm going to start by taking my piece of paper and folding it in half like that. And creasing, I think, is the right word. And folding it the other way, just so that I can rip it in half. You do that a few times. I think I may only need one piece, um, but I can always add more. And then I'm going to tape these, yeah, I might, I might use another piece. I'm going to tape these together right at the line so they look like one long piece. And put some tape on the other side to secure it. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do that again, but only use um, one half of this. If I need more, I can just add more. So I have it um, put together. I did kind of mess up when I attached this other piece um, because I didn't put it exactly where I wanted it to be, which is fine. It doesn't entirely matter, um, but you might want to watch for that. Now comes the part that I'm not entirely sure about, but is the most important part, which is turning this into a drill. <laughs> okay, mine's a little like that already because I was testing stuff out. Um, but what you're going to want to do is once you have it, is you're going to want to take at any one of these corners and it's going to be hard for you to see so I will change it because it's facing me but you're going to want to pull it in and it can be really small because the smaller it is the more likely it'll be to keep its shape and you're going to want to pull it and twist it as you go along but don't pull so hard that it like rips because I've done that a few times but you just want to make sure it's pretty tight so you have a better chance of it keeping its shape. Um, you might want to do this a few times depending on how it turns out the first time. Because sometimes you can accidentally let it go when it's not ready. And sometimes you might not have it tight enough so it doesn't keep its shape. So basically you're going to have a giant wand when you're done. And you just want to like twist it a few times. Pull it 
tighten it a little bit. Move it up and down. Just to like sort of make sure you get the shape that you want. And you can squeeze it a little bit, but you want to make sure you're not squeezing. So like you flatten it. You want to squeeze it like all the way so that you sort of get the shape. So like not like that. And then once you think you've got it good, you can just let it go. And now you're going to have something like this, and this is way too tight. You're probably going to want to add more paper because this won't be very long. Um, but I only did a few pieces because I wasn't sure. So once you've got this, you're going to want to pick it from the bottom, sort of put it into itself. And you'll have like the smallest hole that you can fit your finger into on both sides. Just go like that. Play with it so the curls kind of come undone. So you can make them bigger. Take it apart a few times. Let it go again. If you've done it like good, it, it'll go back into its shape. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Now, after you've gotten like this, I'm not entirely sure where you go from here because the pictures that I'm looking at um, are more like secure but also in this shape. They also bounce and I've done... I did a few tests and neither of them worked that way. So I I don't really know what you do after. But this is basically what you're going to want. Only thing I can think of to get it more secure would be taping it. Um, like in the shape, but that won't give you the bounce. Or like doing something like that. That works, kind of. Oh, okay. Um, if you just tape parts of it together, like the top part and the bottom part, you still have some bounce. Okay, okay, that works. Um, so yours would be longer than mine is, most likely. Or it can be this long. So I think the best way to do it is to do what I did and then tape pieces together like t definitely the top part definitely the bottom part and maybe depending on how long yours is like the middle part and maybe one other part and then you have something like that and my pretend wig cap you would just take this piece put some tape here It's not going to stick properly because it'll stick to the paper, but it wouldn't stick to my head. So, like that. From my understanding, that is all you do. Um, the only thing is the, sh the sh sizing and the, the width and the length. Um, that you have to worry about. So to make it bigger, 
This is about the size that I used for mine. To make it bigger, you would just tape something here. To make it longer, you would tape something here. And you can always cut stuff off and reattach it. Um, and I, again, I recommend taping. Tape on the outside, even though, like, you'll see it. So tape. I taped where mine would go on here. But on here, I taped on the back side. So I would tape on the back side instead so you can't see it. But I hope, I hope that made sense. I will link other stuff down below. Thank you for watching.